COINTELPRO is the name of a 1963 National Security Agency operation that intercepted electronic communications of U.S. citizens and passed them to other government law enforcement and intelligence organizations such as the FBI, CIA, Secret Service, and the Department of Defense. Thousands of civilians were monitored by executive branch law enforcement and these intelligence agencies. There was no judicial oversight and no warrants were issued for any targets. The Supreme Court case United States v. the U.S. District Court upheld in a unanimous ruling that the Fourth Amendment did not apply to cases of domestic surveillance targeting a domestic threats. Threats including subversive elements and individuals such as critics of the Vietnam War, journalist for the New York Times and Washington Post, Muhammad Ali, and Jane Fonda. Yes, Jane Fonda, the actress. They also targeted many civil rights leaders including Martin Luther King Jr. and even United States Senators. One of these Senators included Frank Church, a Democrat who headed a committee in 1975 that investigated possible illegal activities conducted by intelligence agencies after the events of the Watergate affair. During these investigations a series of troubling revelations concerning intelligence activities arose, including the U.S. Army spying on the civilian population, CIA covert action programs involving the attempted subversion of foreign governments. Declassification also revealed assassination plots and actual attempts by various agencies. In 1969 civil rights leader Martin Luther King Jr. was assassinated by James Earl Ray, a petty criminal whose brilliant plan involved murdering a well-protected civil rights leader and then dropping his murder weapon at the scene next to his personal radio with his prison ID engraved on it. Ray pleaded guilty in March 1969 and a trial was waived and Ray was given a 99-year prison sentence. Ray recanted his confession three days later. A federal investigation in 1977 by the House Select Committee on Assassinations concluded that there was a likelihood that Ray did not act alone in planning the assassination. In 1997 Martin Luther King's son Dexter King professed the innocence of his father's convicted assassin. In 1998 Attorney General Janet Reno reopened an investigation into the assassination. And in the December of 1999 the state of Tennessee awarded the King family a settlement for wrongful death. James Earl Ray died in prison.